In a recent interview with The Hollywood Reporter, some of the House of the Dragon writers are confused about how the fandom could love Damon so much despite all his flaws. Sarah Hess, who wrote the most recent episode, said, He's become the internet's boyfriend in a way that baffles me. Not that Matt Smith isn't incredibly charismatic and wonderful, and he's incredible in the role, but Damon himself is... Uh, I, I don't want him to be my boyfriend. I'm a little baffled. And I'm just like, really? How in what way was he a good partner, father, or brother to anybody? Director Claire Kilner chimed in and said, I just love the fact that people are so involved with these characters, and I think that's the fun of it. Matt is such a risk taker in his performance, and he's got that little smile, and, you know, you can't help it. He's charismatic. People love a baddie. But I don't think he's a particularly good father or a good brother. Now, I think that's a bit unfair, considering they removed some of the scenes of Damon showing how much he cares for his daughters after their mother's death, and especially how mature he's gotten as a person beyond the 10-year time skip we got in Episode 6, and we see bits of that here when he helps Viserys to the throne and defends his wife's name in Episode 8. Eight. Though to be fair, despite his self-serving manner, Damon has never lied about who he is and what he's about, and I think people like that. Someone who is an ass and doesn't apologize for it. He's basically the realest character in the show right now, and has always maintained a love for his family in his own way. And you know how the internet is. People love an incestuous dragon-riding twink who dresses like a Sith Lord. What do you guys think?